What's up everybody, it's your boy Rush Grant and you're watching Sub Urban Nerd. This is the channel where I give my nerd views on today's nerd news. Um, today, it's a little bit different. There's not that much comic book movie news, so I'm going to switch it up and add a little bit of different things like uh, some gaming news in there. So just bear with me and hopefully you enjoy. First topic on the nerd rundown is Sony is taking over the, the Crow, the Crow remake or reboot, whichever you think you want to say. Now, originally it was supposed to be by Relativia Media. Back in December 14th, 2008, uh, director name of Stephen Norrington announced in Variety that he had planned to write and direct the reinvention of The Crow. Now, these are one of those movies that they say or call uh, that it's in development hell. When I say development hell, I'm saying because it's one of those things where it's supposed to go somewhere, but it doesn't do anything. So this movie was in the works since, like I said, 2008, and that director was in it, but because it wasn't really making a move, he had to step away. Then the next director that took over was a 28 weeks later director, Juan Carlos Fransandiello, Dilio, whichever, sorry, it might be pronounced it wrong. And from then, it's just been going downhill because it's not just the directors, but the people that have cast. Because when it was initially announced, they had Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper was up at the top of the game because I believe it has just happened after um, The Hangover. So everyone loved Bradley Cooper. So it was looking good. But then because it was taking so long, because actors have so many things, they agreed to contracts. But except if you're not doing anything with that, I got to kind of step away. And do this because I got to make my money. I got to survive, you know. So uh, Bradley Cooper stepped away. Then there was rumors of Mark Wahlberg stepping in. That that didn't happen. So the next rumor was Shannon Tatum. You know Shannon Tatum. 21 Jump Street. Everyone knows Shannon Tatum now. I don't think he was known back then. I, I don't know if he was as popular as he is now. But Shannon Tatum was supposed to be. That didn't happen. Then Ryan Gosling. The Notebook himself. Ryan Gosling, which I could have seen that because how dark he was when Driver, could he could have pulled through. He's in good physical shape too, but that didn't happen. Then Luke Evans, uh, you guys know him from Dracula Unleashed or Untold, whichever way it was. I think he would have been great because like he he just knows how to like take on these roles. Because uh, in the Fast and Furious, I liked his bad guy. Um, even in Beauty and the Beast, like Gaston. Yeah, he was he was that asshole, and I think he could definitely do good with it. He's in physical too; he's in great shape, bone structure. I think he could have been a good like uh, the crow, but he ended up not going through. Then Tom Hiddleston, Loki himself, was in t talks to play the crow, which I think Tom Hiddleston would have been done a great job as well. Then, like I said, nothing was happening; he had to step away. Then Jack Houston, which is he's most known for being on Boardwalk Boardwalk Empire. I don't, I've never seen it, but, you know, I hear he's a good, uh, you know, actor, so, you know, maybe he would have did great, but he had to step away. And then the final person that stepped onto the plate to take over as the, the crow was Jason Momoa, Aquaman himself, and I could definitely, like, the only difference is, like, Jason Momoa is a lot bigger than everybody else, so this would have been a definitely, like, brolicker, different looking, uh, the crow but i'm pretty sure he still would have done a great job he has that gruff he has the dark you know the, the deep voice whatever and i think he definitely would have pulled off great because i've seen some images of him uh, it's like i don't know what he was in game of thrones but apparently like you know like i think he might have had a little makeup or something like his face with the with the black whatever so i definitely see the white and then the black with the eyes whatever so that, i think that would have been great they even had Kristen bell she was going to be playing shelly in this so they had a bunch of people. Like, I'm not going to stay. Like, I've laid out most of the people that was in talks to be in this movie. And it just hasn't happened yet. So, hopefully, Sony taking over, you know, because, like, they were in financial troubles before. So, maybe this will help them be back on top. Because that's why Spider-Man, they worked out something with Marvel. You know, it's because they needed money. Because they were selling off uh, some, some part of their companies. So, hopefully, you guys get going with this Chrome movie. Because, you know, a lot of us nerds, you definitely look forward to it. Because Brandon Lee, he was great. The late Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son. You know, it's a shame he got shot, I mean, killed on set. But, you know, like, this movie, 
it would be good to be redone and redone well, hopefully, you know, because we, we don't want to remake a reboot that just sucks. And with Jason Momoa, like, he was already the Conan, and not a lot of people like that reboot. So, you know, let's hope that this one comes out good. That's it for the uh, comic book movie news. So, next topic on a new rundown that I'm going to talk about is um, Nintendo. Nintendo, since they came out with the Wii, a lot of companies been coming at them for money as far as suing them. Suing them for the technology, the whole Wii remote control. And they've been, company after company, just bitch slapping them out like, yo, get out my face, get out my face, get out my face. <laughs> Whoa. The, the. Oh, snap. Yeah. <laughs> they got slapped themselves because another, uh, one of the companies just made money off it. They sued them and they got awarded $10 million. The company's name is iLife. And they, they had a bunch of patents for these technologies for, like, motion sensors, motion controls, body scanning, all this stuff. They had um, patents for it. And then they were saying that Disney, or not Disney, sorry, um, that Nintendo is um, was infringing on that patent. So Nintendo thought that, you know, it was going to be another one. But apparently the, techs, uh, the, the jury in Texas found them that, yes, they do deserve some money. It's too close to what they patent, so... Yeah, they got a word ten million, but to Nintendo ten million ain't nothing. That's like like that's like pocket change, yo. That's like that's like lint to them because Nintendo makes like billions of dollars every year. Every year billions of dollars because their franchise like yo, you got the Mario, you got the uh, Zelda. That's why they don't have that much third party because they try and keep the money in. So they just try and you know make these the their own games. You know they don't try and pay this extra mon money for licensing for the third party games or whatever because you know they're Nintendo they could do that sort of like what Apple is you know what I'm saying like they, they've got their hardcore fans that are gonna pay for their shit no matter what they're gonna wait as long as it takes for that stuff no matter how many flaws there is they're gonna go for Nintendo me personally I don't have any Nintendo system the only ones the last ones I had was like Nintendo SNES which I'm gonna bring back a little bit later but um yeah so Nintendo had to pay off this company iLife Ten million dollars. They originally going for one hundred and forty-four million, but you know they didn't get that. The only fraction, uh, one of those things for the patents that they got. So, you know, I guess they can be happy with the ten million, but you know, it's it's nothing to Nintendo. So, you know, they they're gonna keep fighting every other companies that come at them for money. They're just gonna be like, yo, get out my way, and they're gonna continue doing that. So, good on iLife for getting something, but Nintendo is gonna stay on top. On to the next gaming news is GameStop is getting a lot of flack for basically running your pockets and saying they're doing it for your good. Uh, the new console system, the NS, the, the SNES Classic, which is basically a, a miniature-sized Super Nintendo that has all the games like Donkey Kong Country, uh, Super Mario World, and all that. It has that all compact, all these games just in this console that you don't need to put a cartridge or nothing. It just comes all on it, and you get two, you get a controller, two controllers, I believe, and they've been sold out because it's like because they had a, a small miniature uh, NES that uh, sold out. But so this one sold out everywhere. You can't find it um, unless you go online for a crazy amount of money. But GameStop has these bundle packages. All these other companies have bundle packages, but GameStop's getting flack because basically they went on and said in an interview that basically that. These bundle packages are for the good of the customer. Like, we're doing this to help them. Which, you could, you would think, but I did a little research and I found out that they have these bundle packages where you can sort of decide and choose what you want in your bundle package. And that's good and all, but it's confusing because I can get two controllers and a memory card, or I could get one controller, memory card, and this, or one, like, if I have the choice to choose... All these things, because normally I'm used to bundle packages, everything comes in that box. If you're saying that I'm just getting the console and then getting all these things as a bundle package, technically can't I just get the console then? You're forcing me. It's like if you're in high school and the bully rolls up on you, like, yo, give me your lunch money, son. You're like, I don't want to give you, just give it to me, yo. You give it to him. He's like, yo, I'm doing this for your good because you know what? You're getting a little pudgy, so you know, I'm, I'm helping you not eat too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm doing this for your good. Like, I'm looking you out by taking your lunch money, all right? You good? All right. Like, that's pretty much what it feels like they're doing. That's what it seems like they're doing. And we're used to that happening. That's just the world we live in. 
but don't say it to my face and tell me that's what you that you're doing it for my good when we all know it's called upselling only difference is we don't get no choice it's like when you buy one of those tvs at pc richard or best buy and then they give you the option you want that warranty for like you know the three years and you'd be like nah but except it'd be different like it's like if you go be like you want that warranty for three years be like nah but nah we're still gonna add it on what 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 like like scooby-doo <clears throat> Like it don't it don't make sense, but that's what um, GameStop is doing. So you know a lot of people a little frustrated and upset about that, but you know it's nothing you could do about it. That's the way the world works. Packages that's they're making that money. They're upselling, but they, you know that they've got control of it. Nothing. This not gonna change. So that's just one of those news that I figured you guys might be a little bit interested in, and maybe you want to get that classic uh, SNES. Because, you know, those games are pretty cool. Next, I want to talk to you guys real quick about uh, AMC Movie Pass. I thought I mentioned it before, but apparently I didn't. But the AMC Movie Pass, it's 10 bucks for the month. You can go watch a movie every day, 30 days. You watch one movie a day for only 10 bucks. Initially, when Movie Pass came out, it was for, I believe it was 30 or 40 bucks. And then it went up to 50 and it's a lot of people dropped. But now they're doing it for 10 bucks. You can still get it for 10 bucks. And then people are like, I've been asked, like, yo, how is this possible? And it's because they're trying to do like a survey and trying to find out some things as far as what people watch or something like that. And I'm thinking they're probably going the route of like, say, Netflix. They start low because like initially they had like about 10,000 subscribers. And since they dropped it to... to what's it called, to $10, they, their profit, is, or not profit, but the amount of people has gone, gone up like 600%, they say. It's like, so you're getting like 600,000 subscribers, so it's like, damn. I think that's how they're going to do it. Like, I don't know if eventually they're going to drop, uh, raise the price a little bit, but for now, at $10, at $10 a month, I think it's a good deal. Like, I'm about to get that myself. Anybody else watching this, maybe you should get that. And... Check it out because ten bucks at AMC movie theaters too. I don't. I think it's gonna be good at AMC movie theaters or, or movie. And the way it works is you go there with the card. You have a card, and when you go to buy your ticket, Movie Pass pays for the full ticket, as if as if you're paying. So that's how that actually works. So they're paying a full ticket. You pay that ten bucks. You just go to movies and just enjoy it. I don't know if it's limited to certain movie theaters, but you're gonna have to check the website for that. So. There's one movie that I uh, mentioned yesterday, real briefly, but you might want to check it out as well. It's a foreign film, but it looks kind of funny. Check the trailer out for this movie called Midnight Runners, and it looks like a uh, it's with two cops or two guys um, that are in, in school to become cops, and um, it's sort of like Police Academy but South Korean style, and it looks funny. Like I told you, the, the you know the premise, like these guys are training, then they're out on the street at night. And then they see someone get kidnapped and they run after it. So and then the whole story is basically following them, trying to figure out and solve this crime or whatever. And but at the same time, it's like slapstick funny. And it, I don't think it's it's crazy. It's like say the movies like Kung Fu Hustle or um, Kung Fu, uh, Shaolin Soccer or something like that. But it looks pretty good. Looks pretty funny. Maybe you guys should check it out. But that's pretty much it for my nerd rundown. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember like and subscribe. All these things, I'm going to probably add a notation for a video to check out. Uh, subscribe. And remember, I'm Wes Grant. You, This is Suburban Nerd, and you've just been nerdified. Catch you guys on Monday. Enjoy your weekend.